Hey guys, Professor Bill, Comic Book University, and No One Left to Fight, issue number one by Dark Horse Comics. Dude, this is the most insane comic book that I've read th this week? <laughs> wow, it's only 2019, right? Anyway, so this was written by Aubrey Sitterson, art and cover by Fico Osio, and the letterer is Taylor Esposito. That's it. That's it. Uh, nobody else was involved in this book. Uh, there was a design by Anita McGannon. So anyway, this is this is nuts, man. And I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go forward with this. We got this dude, manga hair dude. Actually, he's not the only one. And he's just like you know walking through town. Hey ho, hey ho. And he goes and he meets up this big squid dude with what the hell is this on his face? He's got are these actually no. You guys ever see this? Look, I grew up in the 80s, okay? And I, I've seen all those, what do you call the movies and the, the TV shows where they got the, the punk with the freaking visor thing. Like, what, what what the hell is that? Do those even protect against the sun? My entire life, I swear I've never even put one of those things on. Oh, they're in all the movies. If somebody was wearing something like that in freaking Jersey back when I was a kid? Oh, hell no. <laughs> Hell no. He would have looked like this by the end of it. Anyway, he's a friend, so he's just messing around with this manga dude the, with the with the freaking crusty crab. I don't know what the hell this is. And he's going to come up and hang out, and all of a sudden, he gets attacked by these two kids. They're, they're apparently his nephews, and this dude here, the, this squid guy. I don't, I don't know what Squidward is doing in here. So this is basically like like manga meets squid, uh, SpongeBob SquarePants. Um... We got Vegeta over here. <laughs> yes, yeah, so that makes this guy the Goku. Um, he's, I don't know what the actual relationship is here. I think that they're joking about him being the uncle of those kids. I think it's, you know, like a, a friendly kind of thing. I don't know if these guys are actually brothers. Maybe they're brothers. I don't actually care. Um, he's, he's got so much going on. Like everybody in this comic is wearing goggles. Everybody is wearing goggles. Even this guy. Technically, like, they, they look kind of like goggles. You can already see the freaking cable reference he's got over here, right? But over here, now he's got these, these things on. Cyclops was right. I'm just saying. I'll bet he can see through those things. Probably improves his optic blasts also. I mean, like, everybody's wearing freaking goggles. Oh, except for this, this dumb little chick. Everybody's got something on their head, but it's, it's all goggles. This one, she's got a bandana. Did she not get the goggles men, uh, memo? Ah, so this is a really weird one, man. Um, falls asleep, he's hanging out, he's got freaking... <laughs> he's got a squid fetish. I don't understand, dude. And, and like, what the hell is up with the anal beads that he's got on his neck? <laughs> I don't get that. I don't get that. I'm sitting here reading this comic book, I'm laughing my ass off. At one point, they're hanging out, and the kids are all like, yeah, daddy's a pussy, but this guy's awesome, so I want to be him. No, oh, you be daddy. Nobody wants to be daddy. That's it. This dude's pissed, man. He was over there chopping some salad, then he gets mad, and he somehow turns into, or summons, like, he gets punched in the gut, but from his nutsack, this, uh, this monster shows up. Look at that. He's just like, oh, here we go, here we go. Oh. Splooge, the main bad guy that he defeated years ago in some kind of a crater. And there's the crater again. I don't understand this comic book. <laughs> Blast Barrage. Blast Barrage. I love that when they call out the thing they're going to do. It's like, oh, you're going to do the Blast Barrage. Dodge. <laughs> this is weird, man. This is so weird. And like, he's just, he's literally like, it looks like he's, he's, he's ejaculating. And of course this guy's like, oh, please, dude, please don't. <laughs> he's just, he's, he's not even like worried about him. He's just embarrassed for him. <laughs> oh my God. I don't understand this comic book, man. I don't understand this comic book. Look, as much as I'm making fun of this comic book, I gotta be real, bro. This is a great comic book. <laughs> This is, if you go back and you look at my review of Arrow, issue number one, and everything that's been coming out of the New Agents of Atlas, I'm bragging about how that comic book is going to bridge the gap between manga and the current thing. And this one is going to do something like that also. If this comic book continues, it'll do the same thing. These characters, 
are so damn ridiculous. Which, you know what, is the exact same thing that I said while I was watching Dragon Ball Z back when I was a kid. This is wild, and you can't help but to love it. Um, I know there's going to be some manga purists who are going to be like, Aero is, is about Chinese characters, so it's not manga because manga is Japanese. And this is written by what, Americans, so it can't be um, manga because it's American. Yeah, 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 yeah. Anyway, freaking this, 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 the, the tentacle guy in here, all right, the, 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 what'd you call the, the, the octopi, the squid, squidward, whatever his name is in here. If this th thing all of a sudden got really super duper touchy feely and grew super gigantic and those tentacles started attacking the dude's wife, not a single person here would question that that was Huntai, right? I'm just saying, cool your jets. Stop being so, you know, you can be a purist someplace else. This is not a place for Puritans, okay? And this is a place where we just look at the style because Teen Titans, the original cartoon, that had plenty of elements of chibi and, and, and manga in it. So I don't want to hear about the freaking purist nonsense, okay? There, there's actual manga and then there's the style. Because you know what? If a Japanese guy were to write a regular old comic book like with Superman, would that mean that it's a manga Superman by nature? No. Calm your jets, okay? Cool your jets. This was a freaking nutso crazy comic book that took inspiration from the craziest freaking places, put it together, in something that had absolutely no right to work, and yet somehow it did. I read this thing. I I did not put the book down. I, I did not stop to think about it. There's nothing to really think about with the book. You didn't need to memorize anybody's names, but you easily could. <laughs> and I'm just like, dude, yeah, the squid guy's name is Pod. The main guy is um, Timor. Like, like you know, you, you know the guy's names. But the, the review just doesn't sound funny otherwise. This was a crazy book that I think, I think, if you pick it up and check it out, it's going to be interesting. August 7th is when the next comic book comes out. It looks like it's going to have something completely different to do with, like, what's going on here. I'm going to crack this puppy open and show you what I'm talking about here. Uh, sometime today, we can do this. There we go. Oh, Usagi Yojimbo is down here. <laughs> like, what, what the frick is going on? So we're going to get, like, his, his girlfriends. Actually, I don't know who that is. I don't know who that is. It, it looks like the brother. It looks like the dude, Timor, but she's got the anal beads around her head, which is kinky in its own right. Um, absolutely crazy comic book, man. Love it. And I think that you guys will like it too if you give it a shot. Anyway, that's it for me. Professor Bill Comic Book University. Class dismissed.